Hey guys, it's Monica, and it's the time of the month again. No, not that time of the month. I'm talking about Foxy Charm and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And yes, I know that it's the end of the month that I'm doing these, but um, I was on my 20 year anniversary trip when the boxes came and I've been sick ever since we got back. So it's just been, life happens, you know? So, but that's, we're not gonna let that distress. We're gonna have, unbox these boxes and have a good time doing it. So first of all, we'll start with BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm, if you don't know, is a subscription service that's uh, $21 a month. And it comes with four to five full-size items. And the box is always worth more than $120. I've never had a box less than $120. Um, this month, the little teaser card is totally boxy charm. Let's see if I can go in the order of the card. That way I won't have to go back and reread everything to you. Okay, so first thing in the box is the Becca Hydra Mist and setting, sorry, Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder, which retails for, does it say $39? It sure does. That's an expensive setting powder. Um, $39. And I got one in, I'm guessing if it doesn't say the shade that it's, the original because there was a bronze one yeah I got the original one but um the thing about this powder is it's actually made up of water somehow I'm not sure how I'm not sure what the science is behind this but I've heard people talking about it on YouTube and stuff and that it's it feels wet when you put it on but it's actually a dry powder I don't know I'm gonna try it out obviously but you can call me stumped at how it works so hang on I gotta get some things rearranged here I don't have any room to put anything all right next is the Wander Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. And this retails for $42. Wow, that's some high priced items in this box. And this is Glow Let's see, it's illuminating face oil. I'm guessing that you can use this like a primer. I hate when they put it on this light paper, this light writing on the pink paper like this because you can't read it. I didn't bring my glasses in here, but yeah, I'm I'm assuming you can use it like a primer. That's what I would use it like. But it's a full size product. It's $42, so there's that. The next thing I got was the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. And I know some people, um, there was a, some kind of serum they got that they, apparently everybody wanted the serum and nobody wanted the mascara. And people who got the mascara were all up in arms about it. I didn't really care either way, so I'll try it, see if I like it. It's a vegan mascara, I believe, and, you know, it's 
just to give you nice full lashes. So this will go in my backup drawer of mascaras for someday when I finally get around to trying them all. <laughs> um, yeah, Lashaholics Instagram false lashes. Now this, I wish they would pay more attention to like what people actually like in the boxes because I understand Lashaholic is an expensive brand and these are really pretty lashes. I mean, you got to give them that. They're, they're pretty and let's see how much they cost. They're 15 bucks, but I just don't wear false lashes at all. So these are a wasted item in my box. So, and the last thing was the Pure Times Barbie Glitterly pink face mask this is okay i mean i might do this with my daughter just for something fun to do i would have rather had something else i don't know what the other thing you could get besides this was but i would have rather had something else and this mask was 26 dollars so i mean it's an expensive box. Um, I'll have the total down in the description box. But really, like, stuff that I want, that I'll use. There's two things. So this month's box wasn't really worth it for me. I mean... I didn't really want the mask. I didn't want the lashes. I didn't want the mascara. To be honest, I didn't want the illuminating uh, face oil either. So really, yeah, one thing in the box I wanted. So this bo box kind of sucked for me. But that's okay, because they can't all be million dollar boxes, right? Alright, so, Ipsy. Let's see what's in this box. Like I said, I was away on vacation, so I don't even, I, I have no idea what's in these boxes. I just opened them before I started vil filming, so that there wouldn't be a bunch of crinkling of paper and whatnot. But other than that, I have no idea. There's a little card that says, Bear Yourself. Oh, this is the card for the month. They switched from a big old booklet to a little bitty card. Well, Blind Me does not like that. But, that's okay. Um... We've got a palette from the balm in the balm of your hand, Greatest Hits Volume 2. So that's what it looks like on the front. That's what it looks like opened up. We've got Meet Matrimony. Uh, there's Mary Luminizer in here, and then a bunch of the blushes, and Bahama Mama. What it looks like. It's a pretty nice palette. And it's worth $32, I think what that says next thing is this palette from NYX which kind of it's 
kind of weird to see a drugstore palette in a box. It's this cheek palette. Got all these different blushes. It's a lot reflecting off of it too much. There we go. It's a little better. And this is... Wow, 20 bucks for that? Okay. We got some Farrah brushes. Farrah brushes are my favorite brushes to get in Ipsy bags. Come out of there, you little devils. Well, I got three or four out of five out. There we go. All right. So we got a blending brush, shader brush, concealer brush, a pencil brush, and a detail brush. That's what it looks like. And these were $50. Wow. I would not have expected those brushes to be that expensive. Um, the next thing is this Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. And it is $33. Um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I pay $33 for a mask. And then we got okay. It says I'm supposed to have a Suba Beauty liquid cream illuminating drops in Trust Fund. But instead, I have purely Blue Lotus Daily Moisturizer. So somewhere so along the lines, it got mixed up. Because there's nothing else in the box, and this is what I have. So I don't know how much this costs. Um, I'll try to find it online and put the price in the box description so that's it for boxy charm and ipsy this month um ipsy was definitely the better box but neither one of them were phenomenal um we better, definitely had better months with both boxes so but next month is um Boxy Lux with Boxy Charm. So hopefully next month's gonna be good. All right, guys, that's the end of this video, and I hope you liked it. I hope you'll hit subscribe if you are not already subscribed, and hit that thumbs up button to let me know that you liked the video. And I hope you'll have a great day. Bye, guys.